Well, good morning, River of Life. Um, I'm Brian Goodwin, and I'm here uh, to uh, take five minutes or so and, and give you something to think about for your day. And I apologize, I'm having to do this on the road, uh, but hopefully you can hear me well, and uh, and this goes well. So, you know, the Bible is full of stories uh, of people uh, that were in situations where they had no control over the circumstances and, and, and no clue as to, to what was coming ahead of them. I think of Joseph, right, when his brothers sold him um, and threw him in a, a cistern well, right? I mean, he didn't know what was coming up ahead of them. And I'm sure that, um, yeah, he was dealing with stuff as he did. Think of David. David was being hunted by Saul and his men. I'm sure filled his situations you know, unknown what, what was coming ahead of him. And then even Paul, you think of Paul on his missionary journeys, and I'm, he had many moments where there was much unknown in his situations. Well, what do you do when you're in a situation where, where it's all out of your control and, and you don't know what is coming ahead of you? Have you ever been there? It's not a fun place to be, but I will tell you this, it is a faith strengthening place. You know, you think when faith in God is all that you have, that stretches you. Uh, when faith tells you that God has a bigger plan than you can see, and you just need to hold on and work on on staying eyes on Christ focused, right? That will strengthen you. So when you're in those moments of no control, as if we really are ever in control, <laughs> When you're in those moments of no control and lots of unknowns ahead of you, what are the helps that can you that can help you strengthen your faith? What are the helps? That's that's what I want to just talk about briefly. And I have three of them I want to quickly speak on, and and I want to give you a scripture passage to to help support that. So so the first help that you have in those times of no control and unknowns is to worship God. And nothing takes your focus off of yourself and your situation like proclaiming the name of Jesus. Nothing puts things back into order than giving praise to our Almighty God. Listen to Psalm 59, verse 16. It says, But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. I think that says it right there. So worship, that can be your first help. The second one, godly supporters. You know, we are weak. I like that old hymn that says, prone to wander, prone to leave the God I love. That is all of us at times. We are weak. We need helpers. If we try to do life alone, we're going down. We're going down. Every person needs a mentor type in their life. And every person needs a support system that, that can challenge them and encourage them and can love on them. Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10, it says, Two are better than one. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. So we need to worship. We need godly supporters. And the third one is solitude. You know, a lot of times we just need to get away. You know, we have a lot of noise in this world that we live in, things that just distract us and and take our focus off the Lord. We need to tune out that noise. And oftentimes the best thing to do is go somewhere quiet, turn off your phone, and focus on Him. For me, I love to golf. And I'll go golfing, you know, by myself and and I love to go to that place. It's quiet, uh, generally, and, and, and I can just talk, I can praise, I can escape, and I can focus. Well, Jesus spoke to his disciples before feeding the 5,000, and his words that he gave them are of great advice to us. Uh, Mark 6.31, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. And I think that's great advice for all of us. We need those times where we can just go to a quiet place, spend time with Jesus, and get rest. And you know, by quieting yourself to listen, to, to gather strength from His Word, to focus your eyes on the Father, when you do that, that's where you will find help 
to strengthen your faith in the unknown, no control moments of life. Well, I hope this reaches somebody who needs these words. And so, uh, as we conclude, pray with me, will you? Well, Lord, you are a sovereign God, uh, firmly in control over all things. And that is so important to us followers when we hit those moments in life where we're not in control and we don't see clearly the road that's ahead of us. So, Lord, we trust you. We trust in you and we seek you and we find peace in knowing that you are a God that desires to grow us closer to you. And Lord, we know that difficult circumstances often are the vehicle that you use to change us and to make us more like you. So we put our hands out open and we surrender control to you. And we heed the words in Ephesians 3, 20 and 21. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever, we pray. Amen. All right, well, thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. God bless you.